So we heard, uh, heard that you were out bre for breakfast yesterday with Peter Holland when you saw the firings that happened on Twitter. What was your initial reaction when you realized how many people had been let go? Yeah, I mean, uh, again, it's one of those things. It's, uh, it's part of the business, and uh, those kind of things happen. But obviously, I mean, there's good people there, people that you've come to know over the last... Uh, uh, a couple of years here, so uh, obviously there's an emotional element to it as well. How, many, how much responsibility falls on the players? Well, yeah, I mean, obviously we didn't get the job done uh, on the ice, so there's always changes that happens when when the, when the team is not successful. So, uh, again, that's just how uh, the business of professional sports works. What do you think there is to be learned for some of the guys coming back for next year from this year? Yeah, again, uh, I think we, we there were times this year where we did do some good things, but we didn't do it consistently enough, so I think... Uh, Again, trying to find a way, whether it's a mental approach or just keeping keep on improving. But obviously, we know we have a lot of improvement to be done. But uh, again, if you can find some of that consistency, and uh, we know we, I mean, guys know what they need to do to be successful players. It's, I mean, it's no secret. So you gotta just find a way to be able to kind of channel that uh, every night. And obviously, now you have the off season coming up now, where you have a lot of work to, that needs to be done, and uh, hopefully. That's uh, in the back of the guys' minds uh, as, as we all leave here. Was there something similar in the last two ways that it kind of came undone that you can kind of pick out? Uh, each year is different, so uh, it's tough to really say. But in the end of the day, we didn't get the job done and didn't do things we set out to accomplish. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, definitely a little bit disappointing. With all the changes yesterday, roster-wise, what do you expect this offseason to be like? Uh, I have no idea. I mean, cr crazier things have happened either way. I mean, d d you never really have an idea as a player. You just obviously just focus on what you can control there. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's uh, above our pay grade as players. You, uh, Peter Horacek talked about this team needing to change in, in more or less words. Can you talk about this team's ability to change? Can you guys change for a new coach next year? Talk about play st playing style and things like that. Um... Yeah, I mean, there's things you need to do to be successful in the league, and uh, there was times where we did that this year and times where we didn't. So obviously we didn't do it consistently enough to be a good enough team. So, uh, yeah, if you can, again, if you play a more consistent brand of hockey and uh, clean some things up, obviously I think we have a lot of talented players in this room, and I think it's for lack of that. I think, uh, again, it's just a matter of uh, finding that consistency, playing playing the right way, and uh Doing things the right way. Were you playing through some injuries down the stretch? Well, I don't, we don't. This is not the time to talk about that. Yeah. Worlds. Uh, what's that? Uh, I'm still figuring all that kind of stuff out. Yeah. Thanks. Well, yeah. You came from, uh, played in Philly, where if things went south, the fans would show their teeth a little bit. Um, is this? I, I know it's. You know, you're under the microscope here when things aren't going good. But is this? that much of a difficult place to play considering what it's like when things are going good like like they were in the Bruin series and there's thousands of people inside the arena watching on screens yeah I mean that's that's the exciting part about playing uh, in a market like this I mean you know we got a small obviously sample of that in that uh, brief playoff run we had and uh, again that's something that's in the back of your mind how special it would be to, to be able to kind of do the things that we set out to do as players and that's I I mean, everyone wants to win a championship. So when you see some of that stuff, and that was in the first round of the playoffs, how well, that crazy that was, you can kind of imagine what it would be like, uh, again, if, if we were able to get a little bit further. For whatever reason, it didn't work for you, Tyler, and Fellowship. Could you guys turn it back on again next year, do you think, if it, under the right circumstances, get that chemistry going again? Yeah, I think, I mean, I think for the first 40 or so, maybe less than that, 30, 40 games of the year, we'd, all of us were on pace to have pretty good seasons number-wise, and then we just kind of, for whatever reason, fell off a cliff, and uh, just the chances weren't going in, and um, and obviously that's not good enough because we relied upon to be a big part of the team, and uh, we didn't we didn't and in those stretches we needed to come up uh, with some more goals and some more plays, and unfortunately we weren't able to do that. Confidence factor, though, if you get that back, it'll be one thing. Obviously. Yeah, I mean that's uh, that's the name of the game in uh, professional sports is that confidence, and when you have that, you got to just ride it out as long as you can, and when you don't have it, you want to get it back as quickly as possible. So. Um, yeah, obviously that's a have big factor. Exactly. Yeah, that's when that's when you're at your best. When you're having fun. When you're not really squeezing the stick or thinking about it too much. When you're just out there playing.